morning, good afternoon, hello, and welcome to day 36 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, it, today is, is going to be talking about really being mindful of the present moment without setting any goals. Now, I know we've sort of set a goal of 100 days, but, you know, we'll see where that goes. But I think sometimes, and especially now in, in times of isolation whereby, you know, where we don't, well, it's the uncertainty, the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. All we know is that we can just be in our own environment, give ourselves the best chance of being happy and healthy and all of these things to ensure that when this lockdown is completed, you know, we can go to the world with with in us, with ourselves, with a body, mind and soul in a better place. And what I want us to talk about today is, is being mindful without any present goals, because Mindfulness is not really ha about having any real special experiences when we're doing just mindfulness. We might do some guided meditations like the higher self the other day, but it's it's about having this greater calmness of relaxation, of insight and thoughts and moments of freedom from anxiety, stress, pain or whatever it is. And And all of these things form part of an experience that gives us this moment. It's it's like as if you know we have moments of profound calm through mindfulness or or great well-being and insight and probably much less discomfort and suffering when we're practicing and we're cultivating these things assuming we stick with the practice there's a sense of 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 ardency a sense of commitment a sense of um um doing the right thing on a regular basis but in the next moment we can experience some of the other things that come into our mind so it is about moment to moment. So as it may paradoxical sound, the practice of mindfulness in many ways is not about seeking, but about seeking an outcome or attaching to an outcome. It's actually about being able to sit in the moment and have no particular outcome or mental state or body state, however much we may desire to do these things. And, you know, for me, allowing us to be able to sit in the moment with no judgmental thoughts and allow us to be very aware of the things that arise is so important and it's important both for now and for our future well-being and it's just to be in that present in that well-being treating yourself with loving kindness um understanding that is a myriad of emotions that can on certain days engulf you we all have high days and low days and all of these other things but what we want to be able to do is sort of just be in the moment, extending the calmness, the conditions that we that are favourable to our growing. We've spoke a lot previously about neuroplasticity and, and training our mind and having different habits and all of these things. And when I work on um, developing people spiritually, the two major obstacles that come to me all of the time is ambition yeah, and, and, and expectation. The third one creeps in behind, which is patience. Because we all say, oh, I can't do this, or that's not for me, or oh, it didn't work, or blah, 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 blah. And the reality of the situation is you've not given it time. You know, a lot of these things, you know, they take time. The most beautiful things in the world take time. It took you nine months to be born. It took the Sistine Chapel how long to be painted. The world is where it is today through billions of years of evolution. And, um, you know, so all of these things take time. It's about cultivating that practice and being able to you know go through the things that have affected us before and have this much better relationship with them and a greater calmness and relaxation and for me I think the practice of mindfulness is about seeking of not being particularly attached to an outcome or a mental state or a body state or a relationship or a sound however we might desire it by bringing awareness to actually how we feel in this moment, in the physical way, without memories or hopes or of anything getting in the way is the key. You know, we can begin to master the art of how to open up, how to see clearly, befriend what is actually unfolding in this moment, as it's thereby, you know, the natural alleviation of suffering to try and understand it and dissect it and take it apart. When the reality of the situation is a lot of the things that have happened to you in your life, you know, are things that have happened. You know, what were you worrying about yesterday? 
you may not be worrying about today, what you're worrying about six months ago. You know, two years ago or three years ago when something happened in your life, you thought, oh my, how am I going to get over this? Well, you're sat here today. You're in this moment today. And that is the beauty, the real beauty of mindfulness, is the ability to realise that everything shall pass. Everything shall pass. And that, for me, is, is something that we can you know, really build on. And especially during these times. And, and for me, it is about you know, being happy, being healthy, having this mind and body and, and you know, soul that is all linked together. And as I said, I know times can be difficult at the moment. Um, and it's, it's for us now to help us to visualize and, and for us to have these meditations and these moments of where we can just... How beautiful is that? How wonderful is that? And, you know, we're going to do a visualization now of, of a beach and a well-being. And, you know, I just want you to realize that you're not alone, even if you are alone. You're not, you know, if you're feeling lonely, you're not alone. We're here for each other. I want you to realize that your path is, is moving forward day by day, minute by minute, breath by breath, moment by moment. And the best way to do that, and I had this conversation yesterday, is to have the ability to bathe in the sea of uncertainty that unfolds in front of us. But be able to ride those waves, watch the tide come in and watch the tide go out. Sit and be and watch the leaves on the trees. Watch as I did last night out the garden. I must have just looked at the sky for half an hour and just slowly watched the clouds dissipate and move and just beautiful, just to be in that real moment but we all worry we worry about our friends we worry about our families we worry about ourselves but we have to hold all of that with loving kindness give yourself the credit that you're here today give yourself the credit you've overcome so many obstacles in your life and now with the help and support and love and the gift of mindfulness we can now have a more structured, calming, positive, understanding life with clarity and purpose. Because we know when a situation or emotion arises, we don't add fuel to the fire. We can bring it to our awareness, we can hold it with loving kindness, and we can let it go. Today is a very calm day. Today's a day for us to feel grounded, for us to feel peaceful, for us to be in this beautiful, calm, beautiful, loving state. And long may that continue. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. So, let's go into the meditation. I'm going to put a picture up. And I want to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do a stairs induction. And I want you just to imagine that you are stood on this embankment and down below you are or is a beautiful white golden sand beach. The sea is crystal clear. The sky is beautiful blue. There's a one or two little clouds around you on the horizon and as you look down there are six steps and every step you take down I want you to take a deep breath in and I want you to feel more relaxed and more calm than what you've done before so let's stand on the first step and take a deep breath in let's hold it for two seconds and breathe out go down to the next step let's take a deep breath in And breathe out. Down to the fourth bottom step. Breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. To the next step. Breathe in. Hold it. Feel our body feeling rejuvenation. And breathe out. 
as we breathe in, we hold it, we feel the oxygenation, the beautiful energy within ourselves growing as we breathe out. We breathe in, the final step before we get to the beach and we just hold it and as we breathe out this time we let go of all emotions, fears, residual energies, stale energies, emotions and they leave the body. And then we take the last step, your step onto the white sand. And as you stand there, I want you to feel how warm and soft this sand is under your feet. And feel the sensations in your feet of the sand. Now look, when you look up, you, all you see is more sand in front of you. You can hear the ocean. Walk towards the sounds of the waves crashing on the beach. And as you're walking, you can feel the sunlight on your skin. Beautiful, warm rays just warming our bodies and our face. Perhaps you can feel a light breeze as well, but you notice the smell, that beautiful snout smell of the seaside, the salty air. And as you're looking around, you see the ocean peak over the sand dunes. You walk into the ocean now and you notice the sand under your feet gets firmer because it's been saturated with the water from the sea. And you get to the shore where the ocean meets the sand and you see the little waves coming up and down and just lapping onto the beach. You just pause for a moment to look at the beauty that unfolds every wave as it comes in, as it goes out. And as the waves come and go, you see some things in the sand like shells or pieces of seaweed or your own footprints. And you see a little piece of driftwood that's the perfect size for writing in the sand. And as you pick up this driftwood, you now draw in the sand your biggest fear. What do you fear the most? Write out each letter, noticing the sound that it makes as you scratch it through the sand. Now step back and look at the fear that you've written in this sand. And this fear has carried with you for many years. But today, we're going to watch it disappear as we notice a little wave come closer. And this wave catches part of your fear and it goes back to the ocean and it slowly washes it away. And as it washes it away, it takes away part of this internal fear. And another wave comes in and washes away back to the ocean, some more of your fear. There's another wave, and another wave, and another wave, and every wave as it comes in, it just takes away part of this fear, as it just starts to drift into the sea. You feel your fear just start to dissipate. You feel it leaving your body. You feel it returning to the ocean as it now serves us no no performance it serves us no good it's now left us and as you look at the sand you see that your fear now has completely gone the water has beautifully organically and naturally just taken it away all you can see now is the ripples in the sand where your fear used to be and that fear has not only left you and left the beach but it's left your soul it's left your energy and it's left you for good
Now I want you to continue walking along the beach and noticing the surroundings and you know just take in this beautiful feeling of rejuvenation as, as a lot of your fears and a lot of your emotions have disappeared. And with this newfound you, you can hear further, you can see further, you can sense more. So what kind of sounds can you hear? Can you hear the seabirds flying over or the wind gently blowing? Can you feel the warm sun on your skin? And again, how does the sand feel under your feet? It's beautiful. It's amazing, right? And maybe you can just smell the sea, smell the ocean. And for this moment, I just want you to be at this beach today. Now, as you walked, you learned a lot about how beautiful this beach is and how beautiful you are and how we've released some of our emotions and fears. So I want you to find a comfortable place to sit. Wherever you like on the beach, a chair is there waiting for you. It's the perfect chair. It's just the kind of chair that you like. So go and take a seat. Take a seat and look out into the ocean. Watch the horizon and how the ocean meets the sky. This is the most beautiful scene we've ever witnessed. And as you gaze along the big blue sky and sea, you listen very closely to what I tell, I tell you because it's very important to your overall well-being. As you sit here, I want you to say to yourself, I am loving to others and I'm going to be more loving to myself. I am going to look after others, but I'm also going to look after myself. I give time and care and compassion and love to others and from this day forward, even more so, I'm going to give care, love and compassion to myself. And as I look out to the sea, I see the clouds drifting by. And I just feel this wonderful sensation. That my well-being is improving breath by breath moment by moment. We know that what we practice is what we grow. So for this moment, I just want you to say in your own mind, I love myself. I'm going to care for myself. I'm going to look after myself. I'm going to hold myself with compassion, with love, and respect in the same way that I love care and respect for the most important person in my life I will now forward will give myself and afford myself the same gratitude and the same love and I know that there will be Situations that rise, that will challenge my compassion and my patience and my love for myself. But when those moments arise, I now have the ability of the well-being to be able to look at these emotions and distance myself from them, placing no attachment, allowing the non-love or the judgment or the fear or the emotion or the pain to rise as I step aside from it, knowing that it serves me no purpose, I hold it with the compassion and the love that I know I have inside. And I breathe in, and I breathe out, and I just let it go. 
and I come back to the compassionate, the loving, the caring, the tender self. Take another look at the sea and the beach around you and just sit in the wonderment of what's happened. You have now released some of your fears and your emotions. You have now started to practice what will grow is compassion and love for self. This is going to be a beautiful day. As we feel the love and beauty inside us radiating, shining, glowing, growing on this perfect day for us. We're going to take the day moment by moment, breath by breath, but in the knowledge that we hold ourselves with loving kindness, with compassion, and overall, a true well-being for self, like never before. We realise, in essence, we are all we got. We are special and we hold this beautiful soul, this spiritual light deep inside us, a light that we need to tender, that we need to grow, that we need to look after, that we need to shine brighter than we've ever done before to help ourselves in these difficult and challenging situations to be able to then go into the world being our best self, our true self, our higher self to help others. And as you take a deep breath in, you just see in your mind you're signing this contract with yourself now to take yourself forward in a loving, caring way, understanding that whatever happens around you, you are special, you are here for a purpose, and you are here to fulfil that purpose. You are here to bathe in the uncertainty of life, but doing so in a way that every single day we take a step forward. We may take two back, but we'll take one forward. Take a deep breath in and I want you to see this beautiful personal contract in front of you and by the side of you a gentleman appears with a pen. And now I want you to sign this contract to say for the rest of your life, for your existence, you will hold yourself in the highest regard that you hold for those who you love. You will hold yourself with the highest levels of compassion, love, dignity and praise to be able to help yourself be your true self to be able to help others. Join with me now and sign this beautiful contract in front of us that we will abide by for the rest of our lives. This contract with the divine, with ourselves, with spirit and the world around us will now take us forward from this day on to live the true life, be our true self and to help us, to help ourselves and to help us to help others. Sign the contract, take a deep breath in, look around the scenery, and when you're ready, slowly come back into your chair, wiggling your fingers and moving your toes. <clears throat> so, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. It's it's um it's a Saturday morning here, and and I'm about to do some um some recording of uh, trance mediumship and I appreciate there'll be people who do who spirituality and spiritualism spiritualism is my belief system and maybe this is not of interest to you but I bring it all together and I have that's what I try and do but that felt amazing and a lot of that was guided I didn't even know where the contract came from it was great though wasn't it brilliant and I have to thank my team for allowing me to do that have a lovely day today have a nice relaxing day. You signed that contract now, by the way, so be warned. Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Have a great day. You're going to have a brilliant day. Moment for moment, breath by breath. And if anything arises, we know how to deal with it. We hold ourselves with gratitude, compassion and love. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. We shall see you on day 37. Bye-bye. Oh, be love and give love. Please subscribe and forward this video on to somebody today who you think it may help. I really do appreciate it. Let's try and get this message out and help as many people as we can. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.